Hi, I'm Abby Para. I'm 18 years old and I'm a senior at Turpin High School. I live with anxiety and depressive episodes. It all started about five years ago when I was diagnosed with vasovagal syncope, which basically means that the blood doesn't get to my head all the time and um, I'm dizzy all the time and I have headaches and stuff like that. And it was really kind of devastating because I couldn't play basketball and I couldn't do the things that I loved. So I was kind of frustrated with myself just because I couldn't fix what was going on physically and so then it started affecting me mentally. And that's when the depression started really getting bad and I started just like getting into this hole and I couldn't get out and I decided to talk to my mom about it. And I told her in the car when we were just like sitting there, I was like, mom, like I'm depressed. I don't know what's going on. When I was in like the dark place, I did end up hurting myself. My mentality was that as I was hurting myself, I could look at like the cut and then I could physically see myself heal. And as I was physically healing, I was mentally healing. And obviously that's not the way to go about things. I know that now, but um, at the time it just seemed like that was the only way that was going to be able to help me. And so then I started going to see a psychologist who helped me deal with my physical problems as well as my mental problems. And this really helped. Um, like at first I was in denial, like this is not gonna work at all. I don't understand how she's gonna be able to fix me. This is just something that can't be fixed. I'm just gonna be like this forever. It's important to, to speak out about it because you never know what someone might be going through. And it's always important to be kind to each other because you never know what someone else is struggling with every single day. Since I went to my psychologist, it was like an hour of the day where I could just talk about everything that was going on in my life. And, you know, in high school, there's so many things that are demanding and, you know, that need to be done, like getting ready for college and making sure that you're staying on your all of your work. And if you're an athlete, you know, you have all those practices and stuff. And so it was really nice to be able to talk to somebody and um, she helped me kind of plan out my day and like if I'm taking care of myself instead of trying to take care of everything outside of you know like in the world and what's going on. It really gives me hope knowing that mental illness is starting to become something that people aren't afraid of anymore and that's just so awesome because I think you know, it's not it's not a broken bone. You can't see it, but it definitely it definitely does happen. And the more that people are aware and the more that people are sharing their story, it helps so many other people and hopefully in the end we can definitely save some lives by doing it. You know, it's just it's so powerful to see somebody else and see what they're going through and you know, how they've ended up in the end.